so flame. It is so good to see you today. I am so thrilled that you're here for me to talk with you about um, who you are, what you've been doing over the past few years, and also about your award as a coach. So please, for people who have not yet met you, um, I'd, I'd love you to introduce yourself because I think sometimes it's good to hear people talk about themselves and what they'd like people to know. So please, um, talk with us about you. Thanks, Maria. It's so good to be here with you. It feels like it's been a long time <laughs> since has. we've gotten to commune. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> my name is Flame Schoder. I met you in 2004, and that began my coach training journey. So mm. on one level, I've been coaching now for almost 15 years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> feels like a long time. I was a baby when I met you, 24, so... <sighs> Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. And, um, mm. the, the International Coach Federation this year had their first ever Young Coach Leader Award. Wow. And when I read the description, I thought to myself, that's me. Mm. I should go for this. And I partnered with one of our other favorite coaches, Patrick mm -hmm. Davis, and mm. I asked if he would nominate me. And he said yes. And with his delicious support, I was ultimately given the award. I'm the only coach in North America that received it. Wow. So I, I want to backtrack on this for a second because you saw something that you wanted, like mm -hmm. an award, and you actually took action to go get it. And you got it. What incredible courage. Thanks. You know, and, yeah, absolutely. And so here you are with this prestigious award. You said the only one in North America? Yes. Wow. It's amazing. Tell us a little bit about the award. Can you just a little description? Absolutely. This is a, an award for coaches under 40 years old. So I just snuck in. I got it right before my 40th birthday. <laughs> Um, coaches under 40 who have demonstrated leadership in the field of coaching and mm. are likely to become the next wave of leaders. So wow. this was because I had participated in my local ICF chapter, as well as demonstrating real coaching in the world. Mm. Amazing. So tell us a little bit about um, yourself in terms of what turns you on about being a coach? What do you love about being a coach, Flame? What I love about being a coach is that I get to demonstrate my intention to build a conscious community. Hmm. And I mean that in terms of both my family, me, my children, my mom and dad, uh, professionally, obviously, with other coaches like you and hmm. the academy, but also here in Omaha. And then the other part that's really been blossoming in my business is building a conscious community within our um, corporations, because that's where consciousness is really starting to bubble up as You're an asset right. in business. Yes. And I want to be on the team that helps corporations learn to do that. Wow. And it's obvious that you're well on your way to doing that, isn't it? Yes. That's so uh, bring us up to date. So it's been how many years since you started your coach training, your coach uh, journey? Bring us up to date a little bit about what you've noticed, what's happened. So it's been 14 years since I met you. Yes. And it took me a couple of years to commit to actually joining the Coach Training Academy. I had a lot yes. of what we would call monkey mind about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but once my daughter was born, that really, she helped me get over the border just by being mm. her little teeny tiny self. Mm. And... Um, so I would say I started that in 2005 then mm -hmm. in the academy and for a lot of years I had two tiny babies so wow. Beth Ann and the, my mentor coaches helped me to navigate having a, um, being a mom and having a business and so my business was very small for a while and I just had a few clients and then eventually both of my children went off to school and I could really focus on my business. And that's when right at the same time as that, mm -hmm. you know, the universe mm -hmm. is so full of goodness. Oh, yes. Um, I had a client 
who asked me to come into her company and coach all 40 of her employees every month. Wow. Mm. And that was the beginning of me really being involved in corporations and starting to see how they work and what they need from someone as their coach. Mm. And Mm. now I have four corporate contracts and support lots of people every month in showing up at work. Wow. An an incredible impact you're having, isn't it? Yes. It's so satisfying. And I'm so clear when I'm in a corporation that I don't just want to talk about work. Mm. Um, Whenever the sponsor and I are setting up an agreement, I'm clear Mm. that I want to be able to talk about what's happening in their personal lives, if Mm. that's what's occurring for them. And and why why do you like to do that? In other words, what, what what is the overall purpose of doing that as you see it? Because if someone has something important going on in their personal lives yes. that they are not handling, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. coaching can help them see how to handle it. And that's ultimately going to make them a more present, productive employee. So, so it's of a benefit to the company to let them have this space with their coach. I hear it. So it's like a holistic approach that you have. Very much. So it's not and just very about... very client-driven. Very client-driven. Say more about that. That the client really gets to tell me what they want coaching about as opposed to their manager saying, this is what I think the coach needs to coach you about. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. What would you have to say to, first of all, coaches who are just starting out in their career? given all that you've been through. I mean, it's just (laughs) incredible to see how far you've come since the time when you were first in the academy. And I had the, uh, as you would say, delicious opportunity to uh, be part of your training team and giving you some coaching skills. What would you have to say to some coaches who are just starting out, Flame? The biggest piece of advice that I would have for a new coach is to not go it alone. Mm. Get Same coaches, more. get coaches, hang out with other coaches, ask your friends to support you in your goals, because that was something, a skill that I didn't have when I came to the academy at first, and it has been the single biggest change that has made an impact on my career. Even, even this award, I could have nominated myself for the award, and it would have been so much harder. But instead, I asked someone to support me, and that made it fun and sweet and grew our relationship. So that's been the theme of success in my coaching practice, and that's what I would encourage every new coach to do. So in other words, hang out with other coaches and also let other people in your life know what you're up to and know what you're doing. Yes. You know, you you said to me once, other people are just longing to contribute to you. Are you going to let them? (laughs) And (laughs) I see that everywhere now. Hmm. How how wonderful. Now, what would you say to someone who's even considering whether or not to be a coach? It is becoming a coach is perhaps the most challenging thing you will ever do Mm. but could also be the most rewarding thing you ever do and if it calls to you that means it has something for you so at least take the first step Mm. take one Mm. part of a coach training class take Mm. on a coach for six sessions to see if there's a resonance there Mm. but take some small action to honor the fact that it calls to you. Oh, I love that. So if you see something that calls to you at all, then at least take some small, sweet step in that direction. And you'll see one way or the other. Yes. Maybe it really isn't for you, but then at least you'll be clear. Oh, I love it. And you know, one of the things that... um, Uh, at the academy that we've been stressing a lot with our coaches in training, Flame. And, and, uh, you know, you you haven't been around the academy for a while, so I thought I'd kind of clue you in, is the importance of seeing coaching as a profession. 
yeah. not, not a hobby, because coaching in its own right is just as powerful as any other profession, like, uh, like psychotherapy. Yeah. You know, psychotherapy helps people heal. A coach helps people go for their goals and dreams. And I'm wondering if that resonates with you as well, seeing coaching as a true profession. Absolutely. That is why the ethics standards of the Inner Coach Federation. And honestly, that's part of what helped me to receive this award was my vision that we as coaches grow into being known equally competent as doctors, lawyers, architects, people who we know are intelligent, capable, committed, and who we expect a certain kind of behavior from, we want coaches to be in that same avenue, that same echelon. Oh, I love it. So Flame, I know that uh, one of the things that you've been working with all your life is uh, being hard of hearing. And uh, I know you wear hearing aids and uh, as you said, you've learned to read people's lips very, very well. But I'd like you to talk to us a little bit about this and, and what you know, how that uh, augments uh, your ability to coach people. Absolutely. Because under normal circumstances, we would think of that as a pretty significant limit to having a career where your job is to listen to people. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, I've had a lot of fears and worries about it and have had to build some skills. But what I've realized is that being hard of hearing has actually been one of my greatest teachers. Mm. And it's like the pathway that opens me to understanding how to be compassionate with people when they have things that they want and they perceive a limit or there actually is a limit. Sometimes we're not mm. even just perceiving it. Mm. Um, so for me, being hard of hearing has been, I like to think of it like the, the bumpers in a bowling lane where it's mm. like the thing I bump up against that says, this is what you need to learn next. This is, mm. this is what you have to pay attention to in order to be successful. Wow. And without those kinds of limits, I don't know that I would have known what to do next. Mm. So even though it's a little frustrating sometimes or it causes confusion sometimes, it's, it's not something I'm embarrassed about anymore because I know that it's a part of who I am and that kind of acceptance is what makes me a great coach. Oh, yes. Say a little bit about the embarrassment in the past. <laughs> so I have had times when not being able to hear has made me do and say things that were completely random to the other person. Mm. And <clears throat> um, in my natural state, without coaching behind me, I would have run away from those circumstances. It mm. would have taken me out of coach training. Mm. Um, so having the coaching tools is what has enabled me to get back in the game even after I'm embarrassed, even oh, though my embarrassment man. is there. Um, it's mm. given me the tools to be vulnerable around my embarrassment and to say, I think I just left the room because I thought you said something to me and is that what you said? Mm. And be able to converse with the person um, and create an open dialogue. And then we can both show up and support each other and move past it together. Mm. And, and I take it when you say left the room, you're talking about metaphorically left the room, not exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I would have a tendency to leave the room under, mm -hmm. <laughs> under stress. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you for being willing to be vulnerable uh, with us in showing this. And, and you know, um, we have this definition at the Academy for being vulnerable, which is to allow the winds of life to blow freely over your soul, to allow life in on life's terms. And you are a demonstration of the strength and the courage uh, to be vulnerable. And I honor you for talking about this. And I can tell this is one of the things that makes you such a masterful coach. 
So thank you so much for letting us in on this. Um, so this award flame, uh, would you uh, hold it up to the camera? I want people to see it, how beautiful this is. And this actually looks like a flame, doesn't it? <laughs> It does. I had that same thought when they showed it to me. I just love it. <laughs> so talk about meant to be. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so wonderful. And uh, um, just as a final uh, for people, um, what would you love to leave with people in terms of um, their lives, going for their goals and dreams? Say something because I know that's, that's what your life is built around, helping people uh, really capture what it is that's important for them and actually taking action. Tell us a little bit about what you would want to leave us with as a professional coach. It can be so easy for us to talk us out of the things that we really want. Hmm. And I don't mean just you know, want to have, but the things we want to be. Mm. And that's normal. It's to be expected. However, it's not very satisfying. Mm. So if you want more satisfaction out of your life, look inward and see how you can cultivate the resources to do that. Mm. And, you know, that famous Einstein quote that you can't solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that quote. I, mm. I love Einstein in general, but that reminds me that I'll probably need partners on the path to finding those new ways of thinking and solving those metaphorical problems of becoming the person I want to be. So um, let people in, let mm. the world take you where it wants to take you. Um, and try to find the courage to do it. Wonderful. Well, Coach Flame, uh, just how uh, deeply um, proud we are of you, I think is, is, is one of the words, but inspired by you, I think is even a better word, inspired by you, your courage to go out for what it is you wanted. So you, you demonstrate that already. And how willing you are to share yourself with other people and uh, share what you know as a coach. And uh, I, I hope to see you here at the Academy uh, again. And until then, just know that uh, we see you living your life with clarity, focus, ease, and grace. And we, I don't even wish you all the best. I know all the best is here for you. So thank you for this interview today. You're welcome. Thank you for being my mentor coach and wow. helping me find my way. I would um, not be here today if it weren't for you. Thank you. See you soon. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.